What's up guys, Wallen Customs here and today we are going to take a look at a special figure that I've always wanted. It is from the first Avengers movie. This is the movie series Loki figure. If you want to call it part of Marvel Legends you can but this is definitely a figure I've always wanted. I only have it right here because of my awesome girlfriend who got it for me for my birthday. Uh, definitely pretty cool so I love her a lot for that but this is a cool figure. I love the character. Uh, I was really hesitant to open this but you know what, it's a present. You only keep things mint and packaged because you might sell it in the future and I'm not going to sell a present so let's open them up. Alright guys so here is Loki out of the box and man you know I finally opened them up. He looks pretty cool, pretty nice. I'll take a nice 360 of him and an up close look at him right now. Taking an up close look at Loki, there's a lot to like about him but we'll take a look at him up close really quickly. I love the face sculpt, we'll get more into that afterwards but the body sculpt and his clothing Great job, the scope looks good, it looks very Asgardian if you want to call it that. Nice representation from the movie. Going down a little bit more. Just an overall great job. One thing I love the most is the helmet. The helmet has a nice horns on it just like in the movie. What's awesome is that it could take it off. And that's awesome right there so you have a nice representation of Loki from the movie. And this is actually a look that a lot of different like cartoons have taken also. It's a nice sleeker look, a nice sinister look of Loki, not as like as Guardian really, uh, but I do like the look though. Uh, going down to the rest of the body, he has a nice green cape in the back over here. You could actually take it off pretty easily. And this is still a pretty good look also. You know, not all the time does he have his cape on, so that's still pretty cool and nice sculpting in the clothing. If you want to call it his jacket, you could do that. Uh, even see the background over here, the back of his jacket, nice sculpting there. Overall just a great looking outfit, even the armor on the arms look nice, even the small details in that look nice, you know. They definitely did a great job in the details. The body sculpt he has is a little bit smaller, uh, I don't think it's ever been used before or after this was made, but it's definitely nice because it's unique to Loki himself, so that's pretty cool. And then going to the rest of the body, his jacket, you know, nice material. Over here he has a little bit of a cloth going down. This is a little bit stiffer, I do wish it was a little bit more loose like this was. Um, opening up his jacket, he has nice details there in his body. Sadly though, he does not have an ab joint, but he does have nice sculpting over there. Taking a quick look at Loki's spear, I like how it looks, a nice representation from the movie. I don't think he had this in Thor 1, I think he just had a nice a long staff, but he definitely had this in the Avengers. Uh, great representation, like Tony Stark said, it's like the spear of destiny as a joke, but it definitely looks pretty cool. Fitting the staff in Loki's hands uh, for his his right hand, it doesn't really fit that well. You, it pretty much just falls right through, but if you angle it right and have his arm down, you could do it like that, which is not that bad. But it does definitely fit better in his left hand uh, perfectly, so you have no problems there if you want to put it in there. Let me get it in, just like that. You could maybe have him his arm out like that. Taking a look at Loki's helmet really quickly, it looks pretty nice. I like it a lot. It definitely has some details in it, so it's not plain looking. You can see it on the side and also on the uh, top over there. And it's a nice material. It's a soft plastic, so it goes on Loki pretty easily. So let's put that on right now, like so. And it looks pretty good. You know, they did a good job because sometimes when you have a removable helmet or a hat, it, look, it could look kind of weird, too big or too small. Uh, but overall, it definitely is a nice look from the side over here. It definitely looks nice pretty cool and it has some details over here in the front of the horns it's kind of a darker gold or copper if you want to call it that but in the back over here it's gold so you know they took the time to make this also when he made the helmet remo removable um, they do affect the head scope a little bit because he does he is kind of supposed to have longer hair but um, it's not that bad they made him, made him look more sharper looking if anything um, is his head too small I don't think so it still looks fine to me in my opinion Alright, getting to articulation, he has a ball joint in the head, no hinge, as you can see right there. So it doesn't go back that much at all, it doesn't go down that much, but it does go left and right. And he do have a nice pivot, it does pivot left and right a little bit too, so you have that at least. The shoulders has hinge joint shoulders that rotates to go up and down, in and out. He does have some armor and plates right here, but it does not get in the way of the articulation, which is pretty nice. Uh, bicep swivel, of course, two points at the elbow, he does have a swivel at the wrist but no hinge. Getting to the body, he doesn't have anything there because of the sculpting. Uh, he does have a waist swivel though, right here. Uh, going down to the bottom over here, he does have T-jointed hips but this cloth right here kind of, well this plastic cloth, gets in the way of the articulation so you can't, it's not the greatest. 
I might actually cut a little slit right here to try to give give a little bit more room for it to move. Uh, but he does have a, bi a thigh swivel over there, two points at the knee and at the ankle, a hinge and a pivot. So decent articulation, not the greatest, but at the same time you have to think you're not really going to get Loki in some crazy battle scenes or you know fighting scenes. You know, most of the time you're just going to have him with his helmet on, with his staff, and that's pretty much it really, you know. So the articulation isn't the greatest like I said, but for, for what it is and who the character is, you don't really need it. Size comparisons, here is Loki of some of the other Marvel Legend movie figures and Thanos in the background. As you can see, he's not that bad in height. I do wish he was a little bit taller. I do believe the actor that plays him in real life is a pretty tall guy too, so it would have been nicer if he was taller. You can maybe put his helmet on like this to try to trick the eyes to thinking he is a little bit taller, uh, but that's about it though. So with that being said, that's about it guys. Like I said before, he's a great looking figure. He is definitely menacing when you get him in the right positions and poses. Uh, overall, I do wish he was a little bit taller, but it's okay. Uh, he is a little bit slimmer compared to the rest of the guys, but I'm fine with that because when I think of Loki, I don't think of brute force. You know, he's all about the brain, so that's fine with me. I'm not sure if we're going to get another Loki figure in the future, but it still is a great figure that you could pass him off for any kind of series, movie, movie series, cartoon, comic, maybe not cartoon, but definitely is pretty good looking. If you want to alter his look, you know, you take off the helmet, take off the cape or whatever, you could pass him off really as any kind of style and it looks great. So other than that, I'm happy to finally have this in my collection. Great figure and definitely is really cool looking. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe. Do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to wildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace.